This tutorial sheet looks at underdamped systems. Now a reminder, we're assuming that students have been through all the videos in this series on second order responses and are familiar with them. And the purpose of this particular video is to provide some tutorial questions so that you can test your own understanding. For this to work, you need to read the questions and then pause the video and attempt answers before you view the solutions that have been provided. Now a bit of background, we're talking about second order systems of this form, a d 2 x dt squared plus b dx dt plus cx equals cr. We're going to assume zero initial conditions because <coughs> non-zero initial conditions simply complicate the algebra without really adding to the insight. We're saying that the system's underdamped, so the characteristic roots will be complex but stable. Now you can also do a Laplace transform representation of this system and that's given down here. Now just to continue with the background, as we said, we're assuming complex roots, so we're assuming that b squared is less than 4ac. So let's write down the characteristic equation like this, p squared plus alpha p plus beta equals naught, where alpha is b over a and beta equals c over a, then what we're saying is that this characteristic polynomial, there it is, s squared plus alpha s plus beta c, can be written in this form here. s plus alpha over 2 all squared plus beta minus alpha squared over 4, where critically this term here is positive. And we can write it as omega squared equals beta minus alpha squared over 4. Now assuming that that's true, then the general solution takes this form down here. You'll see x of t equals e to the minus alpha t over 2 times a sine omega t plus b cos omega t plus and then this constant term is straightforward capital C r over little c. First question then characterize and the key word here is characterize not solving in its entirety the solutions for the following three differential equations. Now is the time to pause the video and try this by yourself and I'll now continue with some answers. All right, in order to characterize, the first thing we need to do is find the characteristic polynomial, because once we've got that, we know what dynamics are going to be in the solution. So here, you'll see we've got p squared plus p plus 4.25. And you remember what we wrote on the previous slide. This can be written as p plus a half squared plus 4.25 minus a half squared, which gives you p plus a half squared plus 2 squared. So now we know <coughs> what the decay is going to be. It's governed by this term and what the oscillation will be is governed by this term. So I can now write that x is going to be e to the minus t over 2. So you'll see that's come from here. And then I'll have a sine 2t plus b cos 2t. And there will be a constant in this particular case. It's going to be plus 2. But the most important thing here is we're trying to characterize the solution. What's the exponential and what's the frequency? of oscillation. Next question. 4x dot plus 8x, um, that should be a dot on there, plus 8x equals 4. So again, I'm going to write down the characteristic polynomial directly. I've got 4p squared plus 8p plus 8 equals 0. Or alternatively, I can write this as p squared plus 2p plus 2 which I can then expand out as p plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. Hopefully you can see that by inspection. And therefore, characterizing the solution, I've got an e to the minus t, the minus 1 coming from here. And then I've got an a sine t plus b cos t plus a half. And you'll see the frequency of oscillation, the sine t and cos t, comes from here. The half at the end 
comes from the 8 and the 4. Final one of this series then. I'll go straight to the characteristic equation because hopefully by now you've got that idea. p squared plus 0.1p plus 0.01 equals 0. And I'm now going to write this as p plus 0.05 all squared plus 0.01 minus 0.05 squared equals 0. Now, if I expand out these terms, this term is 1 over 100, and this term is 1 over 400. So what you've got is P plus 1 over 20 squared plus 3 over 400 equals 0. So now, this term, this 3 over 400, is going to be, we call it omega squared. So omega equals root 3 over 20. So if I now characterize my solution, I'm going to have x equals e to the minus t over 20. You'll see that comes straight from there. Into a sine root 3 over 20 t plus b cos root 3 over 20 t and then you've got a constant at the end which in this case is 5. Right, question 2. You'll see the only real difference here between this and the first question because we're now using Laplace transforms. So please pause and I'll go straight to the solutions. So we want to characterize the solution to this and again all we're really interested in is this here the characteristic polynomial. So if I rewrite that, you'll see I get s plus 0.25 squared plus 0.5 minus 0.25 squared equals 0. Now, 0.5 is a half, 0.25 squared is a sixteenth, so I end up with s plus a quarter squared plus 7 over 16. And therefore we've got omega squared equals 7 over 16 or omega equals root 7 over 4. So I can now write down my overall solution. I'm going to get y equals e to the minus t over 4. You see that comes from there. And then I've got a sine root 7 over 4t plus b cos root 7 over 4t, and then there'll be a constant, which in this particular case is 0 0.4. That comes from the 0 0.2 and the 0 0.5. Next one. Again, I'm going to go straight to the characteristic equation so we don't waste time. s plus 10 squared plus 500 minus 10 squared equals 0, or s plus 10 squared plus 20 squared equals 0. So you can see this one can be done very rapidly. y of t equals e to the minus 10t into a sine 20t plus b cos 20t and then we're going to have plus 1 over 20 and the 1 over 20 coming from that 525. Third question find x of t given the following. So the main difference with this question is we're not just characterizing the solutions, we actually want you to solve in entirety and we're given zero initial conditions for the differential equations and that's actually already absorbed into the Laplace transforms for these two examples. So now's the time to pause and we will give some solutions. So here so we've got x double dot plus 4x dot plus 8x equals 32. So if I write the characteristic equation straight out, I've got p squared plus 4p plus 8 equals 0, or p plus 2 squared plus 2 squared equals 0. So I can write my solution straight down as x equals e to the minus 2t a sine 2t plus b 
cos 2t plus, in this case, it's going to be 4 for matching the 8 to the 32. And all I do now is plug in my initial conditions. So x of 0 equals b plus 4, which gives me that b equals minus 4. x dot of 0. Now I've got to work out x dot 4 at first, but let's write this out. So I'm going to get minus 2e to the minus 2t into a sine 2t plus b cos 2t and then I'm going to get plus e to the minus 2t into a cos 2t minus b sine 2t and I need a 2 outside there as well because of the multiply by 2 from the sine and cos. Now because I've said that t is equal to 0 that term's going to go and that term is going to go. And so what do you get left with? You're also going to find this one's going to go to 1. So you get left with minus 2b plus 2a. And that is going to be equal to naught. And therefore a equals b, which equals minus 4. So we're done. Next one, x double dot plus 0.4x dot plus 0.4x equals 2. So again, we'll go stri straight into the characteristic equation. p squared plus 0.4p plus 0.4 equals 0, which can be written as p plus 0.2 squared plus 0.6 squared equals 0. So in other, other words, x equals e to the minus 0.2t into a, and what have we got here, let's get the right sign, 0.6t plus b cos 0.6t plus, and if we balance up the uh, constants, we're going to get plus 5. And if I just do x dot while we're here, so x dot is going to give you e to the minus 0.2t, that's going to be right outside, and I'm going to get minus 0.2a sine 0.6t minus 0.2b cos 0.6t plus 0.6a cos 0.6t minus 0.6b sine 0.6t. That's quite a long expression, but that's where we are. So now I put in my initial conditions. x of 0 equals 0 gives me that 0 equals b plus 5, or b equals minus 5. x dot of 0 equals 0 is going to give me that minus 0.2b plus 0.6a equals 0, which gives me that a equals b over 3, or in other words, a equals minus 5 over 3. And so we're done. Next one. x of s equals 5 over s, s squared plus 2s plus 5. Now this one is more logical to use partial fractions. So I'm going to rewrite this as x of s equals, now I can see it's 1 over s by inspection, so I'm just going to write that straight down, and I'm going to get plus b into s plus 1 plus 2a over s plus 1 all squared plus 2 squared. And you'll see I've done the normal trick of matching the numerator um, setup or structure to what's in the denominator. So because I've got an s plus 1 squared, I've written b times s plus 1 in the numerator. And because the frequency is 2, because of the 2 squared, I've written 2a. Now what I do is multiply both sides and see what you get. So if I multiply the transfer function I just by the denominator, I just get 5. I multiply 1 over s by the denominator, and I'm going to get s squared plus 2s 
plus 5. And the other term, I'm going to end up with BS S plus 1 plus 2AS. So that's just expanding out, multiplying by the denominator. If I now equate coefficients of S squared, left and right, you get 0 equals 1 plus B, which gives me B equals minus 1. And if I equate coefficients of S, I get 0 equals 2 plus B plus 2A. And that's going to give me that A equals minus a half. So finally, if I plug, if I use my tables to get my inverse Laplace, you'll see I've got the 1 over S, which gives me 1. I've got an, an E to the minus T. That's from the S plus 1. And then the B is the cos, so I've got B cos 2T plus A sine 2t, and you'll notice we've got the values of b and a here. <laughs> so final question then. 61 over s squared plus 10s plus 61. So if I write this down in the sort of form we expect, so we've got 61 over s, s squared plus 10s plus 61, that's going to be equal to 61 over s, s plus 5 all squared plus 6 squared and therefore I can put this into partial fractions as 1 over s plus b s plus 5 plus 6a over s plus 5 squared plus 6 squared multiply both sides by the denominator and I'll get 61 equals s squared plus 10s plus 61 plus b s s plus 5 plus 6 a s. Equate coefficients of s squared and you get 0 equals 1 plus b. So again, b equals minus 1. Equate coefficients of s and you get 0 equals 10 plus 5b plus 6a and that will give you that a equals minus 5 over 6. And then finally, as before, I can now write down that x equals 1. That's from the constant. And then I'm going to get plus e to the minus 5t into a sine 6t plus b cos 6t, where a and b are here. Now finally, just to finish off, a quick illustration that you can use MATLAB to check your working. So we go to the MATLAB window, and you'll be familiar with this by now. You can use things like the desolve command. So if we go to question 1, you'll see desolve d2x plus dx dt plus 4.25 times x equals 8.5 with the initial conditions on the right. And out comes the solution 2 minus sine 2t and you'll see there you've got 2, and that'll be an e to the minus t over 2 because it's in the denominator. And you'll see the same with a cost term. So you can check that that is the same as we got in our work solution. Or well, for the second one in question 1, you'll see I've used dsolve 4 d2x dt squared plus 8 dx dt plus 8x equals 4. And out comes the answer. With the Laplace, I need to create a symbolic variable s, and then I can use i Laplace directly. You'll see here i Laplace 0.2 over s s squared plus 0.5 s plus 0.5 and here's the answer you expected. You'll see you've got this cos. This 7 to the half is the root 7 so you've got root 7 over 4t and you'll see the same with the sine and at the right at the end you'll see that e to the minus t over 4. So you'll notice you can use the same sort of trick if I pull this over to the right so you can pause if you want to, and just have a look at the sort of commands that we've got there, and then you can put them in yourself. So some conclusions. We've done some tutorial questions, and we've given you some work solutions. <laughs>